It was at this point that Jesus intentionally sought a period of rest. And I think we have a lot to learn from that. That evening, at sunset, they brought to him all who were sick and possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. In the morning, while it was still very dark, Jesus got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. So where did Jesus exactly go after this busy day, this full day which starts with going to the synagogue, casting out a demon, impressing people, and then going to Simon Peter's mother-in-law's house, healing her, and then healing all sorts of people outside her house. It was at this point that Jesus intentionally sought a period of rest. And I think we have a lot to learn from that. I would like to argue that rest is a foundational element of our relationship with God. God says the Sabbath is a sign forever between me and the people of Israel, that in six days the Lord made the heaven and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. If God has a need for rest and refreshment, certainly we do. Rest and refreshment is an undeniable part of our existence. As you may understand, we are more susceptible to temptation when we are tired, when we are weak, when we are overworked and worn out. Although God may expect much from us, hard work at times, rest should never be neglected. Resting in God's presence is critical for understanding God's plans and instructions for our lives. If we want to accept Jesus' invitation to make Jesus the center of our lives, the center of everything we do, we must take advantage of rest.